Hey guys, it's FIFA Sensation Gaming here. Welcome back to my fifth episode of Career Mode. And we go in this episode, um, yeah, straight away. Um, uh, we're, we're going into October. We get a couple of emails. One is the international duties, and we have quite a few players, which is pretty good. And we get our scouting report, monthly scouting update. David Watson, Jason Boog are making good progress. They've also got really high potential in those nineties. Trent Grant, not so good. But he's still got good potential and could improve. But we go into our first match here against Fulham, at home against Fulham. We play pretty much quite a strong squad. My Yukon Rodrigo is, um, in my opinion, the two best strikers. Uh, you could argue of that, that Ramirez is better. But uh, yeah, we go into straight away here. And what you're about to see in this match is just incredible. It's just a crazy game. I'm trying not to give anything away, but it's just a crazy, crazy game. And Mayuka there getting the blood pumping early, having a shot. And uh, talking Mayuka, he's just a beast. Like, literally, look at this. Look, left foot, that's his weak foot, yeah, and lovely finish, 14th minute in the bottom corner, bang, 1-0, the perfect start that we needed, um, yeah, and that's not it from him this game, that like, he's just a beast, I swear, and, um, yeah, balls played over to Ruiz, Ruiz gets past, uh, Yoshida, I think it was crossed it in, Berbatov, and somehow gets to that, I'm not quite sure how, and now I, look, I looked at the replay, and Kraft actually, I meant, I thought he would catch it, but he didn't, and like he kind of controlled it with his foot, and Berbatov just poked it, poked it in basically, and they were back in the game. Uh, but we play Rule Fruto Rodriguez here, and Mayuka gives it to Cork, then gets it back from Cork. Uh, Mayuka does, and Mayuka, you know, he's never gonna, he's, you know, he rarely, rarely, rarely misses from there. He's just such a clinical finisher. It may be the easy stuff, but he's just so good at doing it. And um, his pace, his pace really helps a lot as well. But right before half time, they go on the attack here, Ruiz. Having a shot and both of us gonna score this no he's not, he's gonna miss it. I could not believe he missed that. A player of his quality, he's really good in real life and on this game. And I was um really expecting him to score it. But we go into half time two one up. Really lucky, you know, that was the last kick of the game, Berbatov's miss, but Rodriguez goes on the attack here, cuts inside uh, midway through the second half, hits the post, and um Mayuka is on hand to score his hat trick, making it three one. Yeah, three one. Um yeah, lovely finish by Mayuka again. He fully deserves that trick. And but literally straight from kickoff. Look what happens here. This is just pure genius. This is a great goal. Uh, giving it away already, but who cares? Um, Rodriguez gives it through to Davis. And Dave, look at this cross. Just look at that cross. That is a quality cross. And who's on the end to score? It is Mayuka. I mean, we're talking about a player who's like five foot seven. You know, max like at least five foot seven. Uh, just got to get in the end of that diving header is really good, but they go on the attack here, and I pretty much won the game at this point. But um, you never know. Berbatov scores, makes it four-two. Lovely header, and Ruiz and Berbatov are basically, you know, from what I've seen from this game, are basically Fulham's two best players. Like they're just always there, attacking, and they can be really dangerous at, at times. But we bring in Van, bring on Van Jeek, Ward, Pros, and Ramirez. Um, a usual. Um, Triple sub around the 17th minute, but they go on the attack again here. Ball thread play through to Berbatov, and Berbatov scores that into the bottom corner. I don't understand why he can score that, but he couldn't score the one earlier. It's really weird, but I'm not going to complain. Um, but yeah, they were 4 2. We were 4, four 2 up now. Like, I've just, they come out as two quick goals, just change the game completely. But this happens. What a header from Van Gieke. He's got. The strength's gone up to 93, by the way, which is absolutely great. And he's, you know, you can all, he's great at headering the ball in those situations. Look at this. Lovely finish. Great, great header by Van Gieke. And that actually finishes 5-3. A really, really great win there. Um, yeah. We, we played great. Mayuka, like, won us the game. Without him, obviously, we would have lost. But then this happens. Schneidlin reported homesick. Like, I do not want this kind of thing to happen, but there's two things that can happen in this situation. They can say, oh yeah, it's all rubbish, I'm fine, I don't want to leave the club. Or they can say, oh yeah, it's all it's true, I'm sorry, I want to leave. And they hand in a transfer request on the 1st of January, or like whenever the transfer window begins. But we go into our next game, it's QPR obviously are doing terribly in real life, but... You know, on FIFA it's a different story. I'm Gaston Ramirez of a header going wide there, and he got on the attack here through to Mbaya. I'm not quite sure what he was doing up there, but he missed that. It's probably because of his defender. If it was Remy, or yeah, even any of the other players, they probably would have scored. But Ramirez goes through here, 
Uh, somehow managed to keep the ball, cuts inside, has a shot, takes a deflection for Lana, and that is a good save by um by Julius Cesar and I've scored quite a few deflected goals on feet on this game and they're hoping that will be one of them but it wasn't. But Court gets the ball back here from a corner and Alan has a shot um going narrowly wide. Um we're going again here. I keep saying um with Mackie. I try and not say it um there. Straight to Remy. Remy heads it at Kraft and Kraft saves it but as you can see Remy tries to find Tarap there, it doesn't work. Trap gets the ball back and somehow Remy gets the ball back and puts that into the corner for for um one nil right before half time and it it was one of those moments where you're completely dominating the game and then they don't get a goal. Like I really hate hate it when that happens in FIFA. It was a good finish but like I just mm, I, I don't understand it. I just have like you could have like ten shots and score no goals and they can have one shot and score or score that one goal. I was hoping, I was confident we'd get back into it, and then this happens. Mayuga goes through, and it's unfortunately saved. I thought about cutting inside more, just a little bit more, facing towards goal a bit more, just so I could be sure it would go, and I thought, nah, I've got no time. So I just went for the shot straight away, and Ramirez went for a shot there. Bit of a long shot, but uh, Cesar, I think, might have had it covered. It was, he was, did dive quite a bit. And um, they, that shot by Ramirez again forced Cesar into a save. And Ramirez, I'm kind of giving it away a bit here, but Ramirez was unlucky not to score in this match. He had quite a few shots. Davis having another shot there, deflected actually off Ramirez. He's just so un getting so unlucky not scoring. Um, even like the media saying that he has to score uh, sooner or later. But again, Ramirez putting it wide and it just didn't look like I was going to come back into this game um, it was one of those where was, there's one goal you completely kill them but they just they just don't break they keep defending and Cesar again look at that Cesar was just literally keeping them in the game he was he was the reason that, that they managed to win this game or even like if it wasn't them I probably would have won it but that actually finishes 1-0 really unlucky but um yeah, anyway, we're still really high up on the table despite that loss. We're in fourth. That is just great. I really hope we can keep this up. Fourth maybe probably is a bit overachieving. But yeah, Mayuka's top in assists and goals. That is just great. But I hope you enjoyed this episode, guys. Like, comment, subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And peace.